Hello gardening friends, just wanted to do a quick video for you. I got my first purchase from Botanical Inter Interests <laughs> in the mail. And let's open it up together and see what we got. So nice. Um, one thing I liked about uh, this company is their uh, artwork and their illustration. Not only on their box, but on their seed packets as well. Right. Got this little guy. And like most seed companies, they throw in one or two free seeds. So this is like looks like a some type of lettuce, maybe a lettuce mix. And this one oh this is just a brochure. Okay. So a little bit of information seed starting guide there all right now in this order is a lot of it's mostly blues and purples which you guys know how much I love the blues and the purples uh, in my garden probably my favorite as well as the whites so let's just put these guys together I think I got a couple some of these I got two three four things of I don't even know if you guys can see all these. Alright, so hiss up. Salvia. So this will be three after the one I planted uh, for you in the last video. I got two more packets of the Blue Victoria Salvia. Again, you guys know that's one of my favorite annuals. So just look how beautiful the uh, seed packs are. I mean, that alone will make you want to buy these. And look, a dollar eighty-nine. I don't think you can get these anywhere for a dollar or something. So, anyway, not sure how many seeds are in it, but it sounds pretty um, reasonable. So I got two: the Blue Victoria Salvia. Also new this year. I am starting pansies. Now pansies are a uh, cool weather uh, cool weather plant annual. So uh, I'm going to get these started right away because they will be ready to put out probably within the next few weeks. So again, a purple and white mix. Very nice illustration picture there. Um, and petunias. Now, for some reason, I get pansies and petunias mixed up, but, um, uh, I think these are more for, um, warmer, or a warmer season. So, these could be my show in a container for early in the season before it gets real hot, and then, uh, summer will be these. So, I just thought those were kind of cool. Purple and white together. Uh, ten seeds for almost four dollars, so... Hopefully, all of them germinate, but I really liked them, so. What the heck, right? Next are, <laughs> and I could have sworn I only got two of these, but um, apparently I got four. Uh, this is hyssop, anise hyssop. Another purple uh, perennial flower. I think this is a native flower. Yeah. Um kind of, I think it's in the mint family, kind of a minty, um, scented leaves, um, but I mainly am going to start it and grow it for the purple flowers. Again, very nice illustrations there. Next, Larkspur. Now, I started Larkspur, I got one pack of Larkspur last season and uh i loved it it was a bright or not a bright but a very vivid uh bluish purple pop in the garden last year and it lasted um for quite a while so anyway i've got two packs of the larkspur shades of blue and then for something fun and i've seen this on garden answer and I think a couple other 
uh, garden videos. Uh, this is pumpkin, pumpkin on a stick. So I thought those were pretty cool. Um, uh, that's the seed packet there. So kind of a decorative plant here. We'll see how it goes. Uh, again, I always struggle with pumpkins, but hopefully this variety of um, of them will grow for me. So we will see. I think they're pretty cool, especially for like fall arrangements and um, you know decorations and stuff like that. I know last year I had okay success with the. Um, you guys might remember the different colored corn, decorative corn. Uh, I had some blue and the orange and yellow. And I thought about getting some of the rainbow corn. Um, I think it's called Glass Gem. And it's like a multicolor, like blue, purple, yellow uh, corn stock. So, or corn cob. Again, for decoration. But anyway, that is my first order from Botanical Interest. I'm sure there will be more. Also, I wanted to share with you guys, um, I found some of the white um, coneflower seeds that I harvested from uh, 2020. So, uh, I really like these. Again, I love uh, coneflower in general. It's, you know, with the cottage gardens, it's uh, a staple or one of the staples uh, must have flowers to me of course I love the purple too and it comes in uh, god I've got red out there I've got orange I think I'm seeing green and yellow but anyway uh, I really wanted to start these from seed but I was afraid with them being two a couple years old I uh, wasn't sure if they would germinate for me so, what I did to see if they are viable, I think that's the right word, <laughs> uh, to see if they would germinate for me, I take a, um, I will take a couple of paper towels, actually this is four, but they're, they're those small paper towels, but I will dampen, uh, paper towels, and then I will place my seeds on them of course on this um, on half of them and then I will take my other half and fold it over them and press down uh, you want them down but you don't want it like soaking wet and then I place them in a um, plastic bag a ziploc bag and then I will put them in a warm area and uh, check on them in a couple days and they should have sprouted. If they've sprouted, then you know that they are viable and they're good to go. So, even though these are two years old, I'll show you. I think I got the right one. No. I will show you that they are, or they have germinated for me. So, here is what I did. And we have germination. So, just about every one of those seeds germinated. So, that is just a quick little easy tip. I think I learned this from uh, Lark, from Lark's Perennials on YouTube. Definitely check out her page. I think I mentioned that before. But uh, that's just a quick, easy way to see if your seeds are uh, viable or not. So, I will be starting some coneflowers soon. Also, uh, if you remember in the, uh, I think it was the coleus video where I uh, got an order from Jim's Holiest Coleus, he threw in uh, some fresh bell pepper seeds. And just for fun, I wanted to see if those two were viable, which I'm sure he wouldn't give me bad seeds but just for fun I wanted to see if those would um, germinate for me as well so let's see if they did and yes we have germination I don't know if you guys can see this camera will focus so those seeds germinated 
So anyway, just a quick little tip. If you have some old seeds or they're, they might be a couple years old, two or three years old, and you're not sure if they're gonna germinate for you, and you don't wanna sow a whole tray full of them and uh, they not germinate for you, this is an easy way to test them. All right, so there is another look at all the seeds that I got from Botanical Interest. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, get another seed tray started. I'll let my um, pellets uh, soak up some water and we will go ahead and sow some pansy seeds because I need to get those started as soon as possible so we have some nice spring color this year. Um, I think these look really good in like black containers. Uh, if you are familiar with Garden Answer or watch her, um, I think she's got some black containers. It's got maybe a topiary or a um, boxwood or some kind of tree or bush in the, as a centerpiece. And then she'll have like purple or white uh, pansies around it for her early season color. So anyway, uh, I'm going to get these um, started for you guys. All right, y'all, so I got my Jiffy tray all ready to go here. Um, it's about five cups of water I poured into the dried, um, compressed pellets. And maybe two to three minutes for them to actually um, get to where they need to be. So, again, I highly recommend these are inexpensive. You can find them at Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, grocery store. So, uh... I recommend them. They're easy and they come with a lid. So, nice little setup. I think they run about seven or eight dollars. So, not trying to <laughs> um, force this brand or anything, but anyway, I, I really like them. So, we are going to sew the Got the Blues pansies from. Um, botanical interest and there are quite a few seeds in here actually here is what the seeds look like again a lot better and a lot easier to sow these than the coleus you guys know how small coleus seeds are so I have kind of uh, fluffed up the soil on each of the seed pellets here and I'm gonna put um, I'm gonna put two seeds per cell and then they need to go um, an eighth and a eighth of an inch deep so not very deep you don't want to cover them up with too much soil I'm gonna go ahead and get this tray sewn and I will be right back all right friends I have got a whole um, tray 72 um, cell tray sewn with the blue uh, got the blue pansies I'm going to give these a good misting over the top. Again, I planted these uh, one eighth of an inch of soil, so not a whole lot. Woo. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, not a whole lot of soil over these. Now, zones, uh, let's see, what does this say? Okay, so these are perennial in zone 6 through 10. So we are in zone 6B, so we should be good uh, here in Louisville. Uh, so we should be good for these to, to be hardy and come back for us. Also, I do believe that these will uh, kind of bloom and do their thing early in the season when it's still cool. Uh, and they'll kind of, you know, slow down through the hotter months of through the summer 
and then they should uh, bloom for us again in the fall when the temperatures start cooling down. So. I'm going to make sure I got them all covered good. Another um, piece of information. Uh, uh, need, they need darkness to um, germinate. So I will not be putting these under the grow lights. I'll find a warm, dark place for these to germinate. Just going back through and making sure I got them all covered. All right, I'm gonna place the dome on. And I will put these in a dark, warm spot somewhere in the house. Well, you guys, if you hang on, if you hung on this long, I, I really appreciate it. And I thought I would end this video with a little update on our uh, colia seeds that we started a couple of videos ago. And uh, these here, this is a tray of the blue Victoria Salvia that we started um, maybe a week ago. So they are doing pretty good. As you can see, some of them are getting a little leggy. So... Um, a little tip, you really want to get your um, seed trays as close to the light as you possibly can. Um, otherwise, if I were to have them down here where they originally started, um, that is a long, long way away from the light. And uh, they'll just keep reaching and reaching towards the light and that is what makes them um, leggy. So, hopefully these work out. I still have a... A ton more as you know of the blue Victoria salvias I can start but I really don't think this is going to be a problem at all the back two trays here and this is not my official setup um, I have yet to find a, a decent shelving shelving um, system for all of these seed trays so this is the wizard jade coleus and remember I started these in the $1 uh, food container that you can find at um, the Dollar Tree. And it also comes with that plastic um, lid or topper. So again, another cheap and expensive greenhouse. And then on this side, which is a little bit less uh, germination, but that's all right. This is the giant magma coleus. And again, if I was fancy and had all the, the knowledge and the tools I needed to pop up a picture for you guys every time I mention what these are, I would do that. But I don't at this time. This back tray, uh, I believe it's one of Jim's uh, coleus. Can't remember the name of this one, but uh, again, just about every one of his seeds, if you get them from him, every one of the seeds germinated. All right, now let's go check out a, a couple more trays. Okay, here's another tray of coleus. Again, I'm not sure what the variety is. Um, I think I forgot to mark it on this container, but I've got it wrote down on a in a notebook somewhere. <laughs> so, I just wanted to show you the germination. And I know it's one of Jim Colia's seeds, uh, seed packets, so. Um, as you can see, got a lot of germination out of those. And I do have the name on these. This is the Empire Kong Coleus which were sewn on 21922. 
Again, lots of germination on those. I probably seeded them too heavy, but um, once they get a little bigger, I will go through and just, you know, pluck out um, the smaller ones. And again, I need to get these closer, excuse me, closer to the light because, um, as you can see, they are stretching. So, right after this video, I'm getting those up closer to the light. And speaking of lights, I need to get out and get a few more. Also, um, when your uh, seedlings get ever so um, this size, I guess, um, that's when you can take the domes off the top. So you don't want to leave the domes on it constantly. Alright, and this final tray here is all of the swallowtail seeds. Alright, let me get the light down and the uh, dome off for you guys so you can see. Alright, so in this first row here, again, these were the Swallowtail Company. Uh, we have the Premium Sun Chocolate Symphony. And again, I probably sewn, sewn these a little bit too full or to put too many in each cell. But I was worried that, you know, some of them might not germinate. But as you can clearly see, they did. Uh, next row is the Kong Scarlet. And I wish I could put a picture up for you guys every time um, I say these. Kong Lime Sprite. I believe this is the um, chartreuse one. The solid chartreuse. Um, next row is the Wizard Golden, which is another, um, probably yellowy chartreuse. Kong Rose, I know that one's got some green and red in it. And I don't have a tag for this, but I do remember which one it is. This row is the Jitters from, um, Jim's Holiest Coleus. So, again... Best germination I've seen of coleus from uh, from his seeds. So if you want some coleus, definitely go check him out. Remember, um, the proceeds go to Wounded Warriors and um, uh, a couple other uh, vet-related um, charities, which is awesome. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you lasted this long, hopefully it wasn't boring. Um... <laughs> My light's about to fall over over here. I apologize for the um, <laughs> the non-edited videos you guys are getting, but that's just how it is right now. Um, but thank you guys for following along with me. And if you want to see more of my seed starting success and uh, garden journey, please um, subscribe. Alright, you guys take care and I will see you in the next video.